I think a lot of people think that roller derby is intimidating or it's just for young athletes or if it's just for women. The skaters at Emerald City Roller Derby know there are a lot of misconceptions about their sport. And although these skaters have punny nicknames and a rowdy cheer, they say roller derby isn't quite what you may have seen in movies. Hey, Val's Claire Brennan in studio after attending an ECRD practice yesterday. Claire. Yes, Kendall, Eugene's local amateur league invited me to come watch them practice, and I was thrilled when they told me I could participate despite my very limited roller skating experience. So last night, I laced up my skates and joined in to find out what the sport is all about. Derby is like one of my safe places now. Eugene's Emerald City Roller Derby was formed in 2006 as the Emerald City Roller Girls, but the name was changed back in 2016 to reflect the league's spirit of inclusivity. I think one thing about this group that I love is just how um, accepting and affirming it is of every different kind of body um, and every different kind of uh, gender identity or sexuality. Of course, everyone knows about the discourse going around about who gets to be in sports, but in this sport, it really is for everyone. New skaters are sometimes called fresh meat in the roller derby world. And while the aggression that's encouraged out on the track may sound intimidating, Team members told me this league is a safe place for beginners to grow. There's always something to do and there's always something to learn. Even if you aren't as good on your skates yet, you still learn so, so much. I got to experience that support and acceptance firsthand at practice on Wednesday night. We ran through drills like toe stops, crossovers, sprints and formations. At practices, skaters can choose between the non-contact track where they can develop their roller derby skills or the contact track for those who are ready to take it to the next level. Emerald City's next game, called About, is coming up on December 9th at the Bob Kiefer Center in Springfield. It's their first time hosting since before the pandemic. The league's board president, Jennifer Christie, also known as Cinnabones, told us how exciting it is to watch About. So you've got two teams, you've got five people from each team on the track at any time, and uh, a round of play is called a jam, and that lasts for up to two minutes, and then there's 30 seconds between that and the next jam. So you've got people cycling in on the track, fast-paced action the whole time, it really never slows down. The team wants people to know anyone and everyone are welcome to come check it out. There were so many people in like 2020 and quarantine COVID time that got roller skates because they were like, it's coming back, you know, it's a big thing again. And I want to tell all those people that they should come skate with us because this is just a community of roller skaters and um, roller derby is not that scary, I promise. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on out and you can watch a practice if you're not ready to participate. It really is for everybody. Don't worry if you're like me and you've never played roller derby before because Emerald City Roller Derby is inclusive of all skill and experience levels and it's open to the public. Practices are on Wednesdays from 6.30 to 8.30. There's also Sunday boot camps to learn the basics if you're still getting comfortable on skates and a junior derby for ages 10 to 17 that practices on Thursday evenings. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Claire Brennan. And new skaters can actually attend practice for the, for the first time for free, which I did. You can visit emeraldcityrd.org for more details on signing up. Was it intimidating? It was very intimidating. Luckily, I was on the non-contact track, so <laughs> I, I didn't have to good. do any pushing or blocking. But or sign any waivers. Yeah, I did sign or... waivers. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, um, well, just good. for safety, but yeah. I hope that I can get better and start doing the more aggressive part. It looks yeah. really good. Oh, fun. you're going to keep going. My joints hurt watching that. I'd be afraid of breaking yeah. something. I would break something. <laughs> yeah. I can be sure of that. Yeah. Thank I you recommend so much, everyone Claire. tries it. They want everyone to come join, so check it out. Sounds Thanks, cool. Claire. Awesome.